As we rush headlong into this 21st science fiction century, we need something older and connected to that which is deep inside of us. And stories and storytelling can do just that. Welcome to Talking Stories on East London Radio. My name is Tony Cranston. My job? Travelling the world, writing, collecting and telling stories. And your Talking Stories host. Welcome to the magical, mysterious, sometimes scary, very often funny, world of stories and storytellers. What does the word, the concept of the word, stop me? Two things come to mind. Stop. Now that you have finished it, now is the time to reward yourself, to pause and rest and restore your batteries before you go on to the next thing. And of course, now being restored, can then continue on to that next thing and do it more efficiently and probably better than you would have done. Of course, this is a secret all professional people know. Stop. Don't do it. Don't go that way. Stop. Full stop. You and I are very aware. Though we have our dreams, our plans of what we want to do and want it to be, we somehow know someone else above us has other plans for us. And we are always being nudged onto the path we are meant to be on. It is really true that doors close and windows open. And when we were younger, we suspected that might be the case. And as we got older, we know it is the case. This is why we eventually became storytellers and why we were always lovers of tales, myths and legends. Today, the world has been told, stop. Considering the mysteriousness of life, was it by accident or by design? However you think of it, what is the reason? We have just begun our headlong rush into this 21st science fiction century with all probability that all the fiction will become fact in the next 80 years. But what would that mean for humankind? For the heart, the mind, the soul of humankind? Have we all been told to stop and pause and think about the qualities deep inside of us that make us human? And will we lose that? Is the path we are on the right one? Have we all been told to think not just about how we humans want to live, but also how we want to be when we get there in 80 years? And what we will then pass on to future generations? Or are we being nudged onto a different path altogether? Have they closed the door? And are they opening windows for us? You can waste years and years moaning and calling out, they have closed the doors. Or you can look around quickly for the open windows and the new opportunities and light they bring. We have definitely been told to stop. Stories and storytellers are more important than ever. This is the reason we were guided onto the path we now walk. So whether you are the storyteller in your business or your business is storytelling, what stories do you want to tell for the next 80 years? And so on your talking stories today, we have some familiar, some celebrity, and some new voices and stories. And two of those voices will most definitely be around 
telling tales 80 years from now. And so we begin the program. A warm namaste from India to all listeners of Talking Stories. I am Saivi Singh and I am a storyteller. Born in Kenya, connecting with you now from Udaipur, a city in Rajasthan, India. I love to read, tell and hear stories. Though I started listening to my mother's stories before being born, by two, I started telling them. I have set a record of storytelling in India Book of Records by telling 1,443 stories, seeing the pictures, have performed in various storytelling programs, sessions and competitions. I'm also a squad member of India's famous publication, Amar Chitra Kata's Tinkle Comic Studio, where I give my suggestions for stories, narratives and characters. I believe stories are the motivation for everything I do. You can find more about me on Facebook and YouTube by the same name. Hope you all enjoy the tale which I tell today. The Uninvited Guest Based on an East African folk tale One day, a rabbit was going to her home. I'm feeling over the top, I just want to hop, 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 hop. Sniff, sniff. There seems to be someone in my house. An uninvited guest, an intruder. Who, uh, who's there? Ask the rabbit. It is I, the mightiest animal of the jungle. I can destroy trees and mountains with just a roar. Eep! Mightiest animal of the jungle? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Hello, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. You look disturbed. Can I help? The frog asked rabbit. Don't be silly. There's a creature in my home and it's huge. I need someone big to help me. Just then, rabbit saw Mr. Jackal passing by. Mr. Jackal, a very big animal has taken over my house. Only a clever animal like you can help me. Why? That's serious, said the fox. Let's take a look. The rabbit and the fox went to the rabbit's home. I am Mr. Jackal. The cleverest animal of this forest. Who's in there? It is I, the mightiest animal of the jungle. I destroy trees and mountains with just a roar. The guest told. And I eat jackal brains for breakfast every day. Good. Did he say jackal brains for breakfast? I better scoot and Mr. Jackal ran away. Mr. Jackal, wait! But it was too late. Mr. Jackal ran away. Who will rescue me from the monster now? Said the rabbit to himself. Fear not, Rabbi. Bear rabbit. It was Uncle Leopard to the rescue. Oh, Uncle Leopard, you must save me from that monster. What monster? Asked the leopard. Rabbit told Leopard about what had happened. And so, growl. And the leopard, who's there in Rabbit's house? Then the voice again came. It is I, the mightiest animal of the jungle. I can destroy trees and mountains with just a roar. I shake leopards by the tail till their spots fall off. Shake me up by my tail till my spots fall off. Gulp. Cuff, cuff. Uh, I have some urgent.
efficient work, Rabbit. I'm sure you can deal with the monster yourself. Said the leopard and ran. Don't go off the leopard. But again, it was too late. Third Rabbit fell down. Now, when Rabbit was going to find someone big to help him, he saw Aunt Elephanta. Aunt Elephanta asked, Rabbit, what is this? I hear from Mr. Jackal. Aunt Elephanta, it's true, said Rabbit. Get that creature out, Alan, Aunt Elephanta. You are the biggest and wisest animal I know. You think Elephanta will get the mightiest animal out of Rabbit's home? Whispered Jackal to Leopard. Leopard said, Elephanta should be able to fight the giant creature. Let's watch. Outside Rabbit's house, I'm Elephanta, the biggest animal in this forest. Who's been bothering little Rabbit? Then the voice came again. It is I, the mightiest animal of the jungle. I can destroy trees and mountains with just a roar. I hold four elephants on one paw and flick them off with the claw. Four elephants on one paw? Aunt Elephanta became scared. Oh dear, he's huge. How did he even get into that burrow? Maybe he can change shapes, said Jackal. I'm afraid I can't help you, little rabbit, said Aunt Elephanta. Aunt Elephanta, do something, rabbit told. Mr. Jackal suggested the only way out is to destroy a burrow. Rabbit started crying. Destroy my home? No way! Is there no one who can defeat the intruder? Croc, croc. Can I help? It was Mr. Frog. Now everyone started laughing like anything. This T thing thinks he can overpower that colossal creature. Ha! 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 Everybody started laughing. Rapid told. If he can save my home from being destroyed, then there's no harm trying. Mr. Frog told, I'll do my best. Who's that in style? He asked. Now the voice came again. It is I, the mightiest animal of the jungle. I destroy trees and mountains with just a roar. And Frog told, well... I am the great green monster. With one leap I reach the moon. I inhabit all the water and land on earth. A single swat with my tongue will strike you dead. And I am coming in there right now. Save yourself if you think you can. Stop! I am coming out. What's this? A grasshopper? You were the mightiest animal of the jungle, everyone told. Yes, told the grasshopper. But what were you doing in Rabbit's house? Asked Mr. Frog. I was looking for a place to rest. I spotted Rabbit's cozy house and I fell asleep inside it. But Rabbit returned before I could leave to say myself. I pretended to be the mightiest animal of the jungle. He is fool, that's all. <coughs> Told Aunt Elephanta. Except frog, exclaimed Mr. Fox. It is always the unseen enemy who is the most dangerous. And sometimes our greatest fears turn out to be grasshoppers. Thank you. So friends, we learned that we should try to overpower our fear. That was the first of the voices that will be heard 80 years from now. 
the fabulously talented records holder, Savi Singh. More coming on future shows, including a long-promised children's special,